Good morning and win forever, win today, tomorrow and the other days that are coming. Now today I want to come in with a very sensitive uh, point uh, we, we need. Now we are talking about worshipping God, the genuine worship of God. Now what is the genuine worship of God and what is the worship of the devil? Keep or guard your heart with all diligence for out of it heart is interchanged for mind many times in scripture for out of it are the issues of life you have a responsibility to keep protect guard your mind guard your heart are we together romans chapter 12 and verse 2 it says and do not be conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Say the renewing of your mind. Many times people know that worshipping the devil is getting and engaging into the rituals like animal killing, uh, partaking and drinking blood, and uh, uh, human sacrifice, and uh, animal sacrifices. And people take this as the only part of devil worship now I want to put it to attention that the devil has come in a different form the devil nowadays does not just come in a form of rituals the devil has perverted the information and the message in church and differently somehow he also controlled the activities of different people and by the control of activities that we see in some different people every other places, there is one thing that is already open to see, and this is exactly the desire and the interest of different places. Many people don't like correction. Many people don't like to hear God anymore. Many people don't like it. They only want things to work their own way, their own interesting ways. And in the... In the In that, in, in that uh, procession, they end up uh, uh, getting it wrong all around and end into a trap of worshipping Satan without their knowledge by doing things that Satan appreciates more than what God wants them to do. Now, what is worship to God? Is surrender in short. I want to give it in a short. Surrender yourself to God picnics and all of these things but the moment you say come to church to learn most believers see that i'm showing you how these spirits work as soon as the word of god is coming they manifest as slumber there is no reason to be tired you didn't come from you slept all day and you are still sleeping in the house of god even when a loud song of worship is raised you still don't wake up it's an attack Are we together and then you find other expressions like distraction when your word is about to come your eyes just goes to your whatever it is your your phone whatever they are sending and it may not be something that is so necessary that you have to attend to and before you know it you are distracted and your word passes off you because you were not discerning falls on with everything in you give it to God completely give it to God surrender your knowledge for God's use surrender your mind for God's use surrender your life for God's use as much as we are we need to pertain God in different forms and that's exactly what we have now what is worship according to you generally a worship is the release of self into an esteem of another being most likely and most profoundly is a, a higher superior being of which is spiritual and God is the only spiritual being that we know is the highest through Jesus Christ we get born again wherever you are I know you understand what I'm talking about but we need to be uh, with the understanding of also that people can refuse to worship God 
and choose to worship Satan. And as well, people can say, ah, I'm not worshiping Satan, and neither am I going to worship God. You are still worshiping something. The true secret for sustaining your deliverance in addition to casting out the spirit influence that one can happen in a moment transformation does not happen in a moment it takes one shout of the name of jesus to dislodge spirits no matter how age long but it will take a while quite a while because you have to deconstruct your understanding across several thoughts and then then begin to remold it again that one is my assignment and by the grace of god he's granted me the grace to be a wise master builder and will build with intention provided you are willing to allow your mind to be built can i tell you and as long as you're in church and they it's almost as if they have vowed not to change no matter the fire that comes from the altar you will be surprised how it will fall on a mind that has refused to change you must open up your heart to be disloyal to any thoughts that is inconsistent with the ways of God. Are we together? Something You have the same problem. You are also a devil worshipper. As long as you are not worshipping God, you are a devil worshipper. I'm answering people who have been coming here and say, Oh, look at the end time. You people, you are not spotting you like only prophets, prophets, and you end up to hell. We are not ending to hell. We are coming into a place of understanding that the end time will need apostolic and prophetic ministration in a high level. Yes, we, we, it's apostolic time and it is a prophetic time. These two organs of the fivefold ministry are the ones that will be pertaining the last moments that we will talk about in many ways now and the times that are coming once again i'm timothy profitable and this is blevoy we handle your spiritual economic and social matters see you in the next episode